He's worked in the private sector. They expect results. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Ghostbusters Plasma series, Ray Stance. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's the same packaging as Vinkman here, done in the style of the uniform. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, Stance, Plasma Series, warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. On the side, just some more schematic -y stuff. Attention! On the side of the box, we have our four busters of ghosts. Up top, you just have a zipper. On the bottom, things stuff barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And of course, Vince Clortho is your build a figure, and here are the said figures needed to build said dog. And up top you have a brief bio here on Ray Stands in multiple languages. Hooray for languages! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Ray Stands, the next in this Plasma series line. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the heart of the Ghostbusters. And take a look at that noggin here. And the likenesses is pretty good, I think, anyway. It looks like Dan Aykroyd, in my opinion. Anyway, I think that they did a pretty decent job there with the head sculpt. Um, the paint in the hair, as you can see, <laughs> kind of bled through a little bit to his forehead. You, you can kind of see where the hair stops and the paint just kind of keeps going onto his forehead. That's okay. You have to really be looking for it to really notice it, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, not too bad. Of course, stance right there on his little patch and the uniform going on. Ghostbusters symbol right there on the shoulder. Got the elbow pads, the walkie, all the utility belt, all that good stuff, hoses and whatnot. He does have a little bit of a belly and moving down the uniform there. Pants, boots, and the back, the stance booty. And there you go. Now, oh, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You have your wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You also get some forward and backward movement there on that shoulder. You have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. So you have nice range of movements there. You have wrist rotation as well as the joints that lets the hand move up and down. The waist is on a ball joint, so you have wiggly waggly. You can get some crunch, some arch, rotation. You can see the belt is made of rubber, so that will just flex out of the way for you. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, out that far. You got thigh rotation. You have a double jointed knee, and the joint's really stiff on mine. They get nice full range of motion there on the knees and the feet. They can move up, they can move down, and you have the ankle tiltage. So now let's talk about accessories. So the first thing he comes with is uh, his uh, goggles here. Done in green with some silver. A little bit of detail. Going on there. They are made of rubber. They're all bendy and whatnot. And uh, you can, if you want, there's a little hook here on his belt. You can just kind of hang that off his belt like that for storage if you want. Or, of course, you can put it on him. And this does take a little bit of stretching, so be careful. Don't get too aggressive with it. Just be, just take your time. Take your time. Just stretch it out nice and easy like, nice and gently. Nice and easy. You can just have them. On his forehead, like that, if you want, or you can pull them over his eyes again. Just be careful. There you go, and they will sit over his eyes, like so, if you want as well. So, hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. And again, just be careful when you're removing them because you will need to just, you know, you, you gotta do some flexing and some pulling and some stretching, and just, just be careful. Just be careful because you don't want to risk, uh, you know, tearing any of this. There we go. You can just have those sitting right up there on his head like that. And of course he does have his proton pack. And it's the same pack 
That game with Venkman, the same detail, the same paint apps, but still looks quite, quite nice in my opinion. Now, putting the Proton Pack on Ray uh, presents a bit of a challenge because, as I mentioned earlier, Ray has, he has a bit of a belly going on there, and they did not account for that with this, uh, with the waist strap here. It's the exact same size as the others and uh yeah you have to stretch this to actually get this to you know peg into place but we'll do it we'll do it so again just bring one arm up and just kind of beat his arm through it and get his head through there like that and again there's the post that just goes right into the back just like with peter that just plugs right in now, I've already stretched this out. I actually uh, put this on him last night and just left it sitting overnight, so hopefully it's stretched. It stretched itself enough that I don't have to do much stretching to get it to, to work, but yeah, you can see, like, that's pretty much, like, the natural stopping point for it is, like, right there. Like, it really is not going any further than that, naturally. So, yeah, you have to stretch it to actually make this work, and again, just be careful. Don't get too aggressive with it. And just get it in there and just there you go but that is like that stretch luckily i don't see any stress marks or any signs of any kind of tearing there's a little tiny bit there but that was already there that was there when i took it out of the box so that wasn't me that was that was out of the box like that but um yeah just be careful because you don't want to try not to aggravate that anymore but yeah you can get the proton pack on him it just it takes a bit of stretching to get this uh over his belly, but yeah, now it is what it is. But there he is with his proton pack and his goggles, and he's ready to bust some ghosts. And of course, we can take the neutrino wand and we can just plug this into his hands. And just like with Venkman, the hands are nice and rubbery, so you can just get everything positioned exactly how you want. And Get him holding the wand here. Get him into a ghost busting position. Get his fingers wrapped around that. And there you go. And he's ready. He's ready for busting. You know why? Because busting makes him feel good. And here he is with Dr. Finkman. You can see how the team is starting to shape up there. So, there you go. And the last thing to talk about is the included build-a-figure parts array comes with the uh, the left front leg of Vince Clortho, the dog. And again, some nice detail, I like the coloration on it. Big old claws. There we go. So we have the front left leg, the back left leg. So we got we got that going on there. There we go. We got the legs to stand on their own. Sure, why not? Why not? They're legs. That's what legs do. They stand. We can get them balanced just right. There we go. We got two legs. Hooray. Hooray for legs! So, there you go. So there you have Ray Stance, and yeah, nicely done figure. Um, you know, I do quite like the face sculpt. I think they got the likeness, uh, you know, pretty dang close, in my opinion. Um, the only thing I would say be careful with is just getting the proton pack secured, because you do have to do quite a bit of stretching to that waist strap to get it around his belly and get it secured. Just exercise caution, be patient, you can make it work. Just, just be careful with that but otherwise you know nice solid fun playable figure so there you go now if you would like this or any other ghostbusters figures you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com for availability there'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out you can also check out my ghostbusters playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well and I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Ghostbusters Plasma Series Ray Stance. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud. Home in your face. 
Pinkman? Pinkman! What, what is it, Ray? I saw it, I saw it, I saw it! Saw what, Ray? A free-floating, full-torsoed apparition! So, did you catch it? No? So instead of catching it, you decided to come here to tell me about it. Well, yeah! So did that idea just pop in there? 